In preparation for the mid-March snowstorm to come, Eva cuts up some fallen branches in her backyard. With her handsaw, she first cuts a gash in the wood and then breaks it in half with her hands. After cutting it all into little pieces, she brings it to a pile in the alley to await transportation to a nearby compost dump. Later, once it has decomposed, she will be able to go back to the dump and gather soil to plant her garden in. Now that her backyard is prepared, Eva decides it is time to go stock up on food so she won't need to drive unless absolutely necessary once it has snowed. Eva always begins her grocery shopping with the making of a list. That way, she will be certain not to forget anything once she is there. She heads out to her garage to drive the couple miles to the grocery store. Ava is a member of the Hamlin neighborhood. She and several of her neighbors are working on joining forces and familiarizing themselves with the neighboring group of people, the students. In earlier times, there has been a distance between the two groups. Now, both groups are attempting to join forces to make just one big Hamlin neighborhood, where the students and the neighbors blend together and live in perfect harmony. As she drives, Eva notices that there are hundreds of potholes. She recalls a time when she accidentally drove into a massive hidden pothole that resulted in her hubcap flying off. When she found hers, it was alongside 12 other hubcaps that no doubt had suffered the same catastrophe as Eva's had. Eva arrives at the grocery store Finding the perfect parking spot, she gathers her bags together and heads inside. Entering through the two automatic doors into the grocery store, Eva goes over what she has to buy in her head. First up on her list is milk, so she heads to the back of the store and grabs a gallon. Then she heads over to the fruit section and grabs two grapefruits. Eva has made a tradition of eating a grapefruit a day, and so must always be stocked up on them. At the checkout, Eva sets her regular groceries next to her special white asparagus that is only available in that store during certain seasons, and so Eva must get it whenever she can. Back at the car, Eva sets her bags in the back seat and takes off again towards home. Now that she has done some spring cleaning and has stocked up on food, Eva is all set for the storm to come. She heads inside, takes off her boots, hangs her keys up, and unpacks her groceries. Now she's all set 
and ready to go.